Welcome to spring. It's finally arrived and if you're wondering why I haven't posted any beer reviews it's because the end of the winter was just getting me down and I wasn't inspired to <clears throat> to do this really. We'll see how it goes. I fancied a vice beer today. Vice beer for the un uninitiated is German wheat beer. There's a very very good one available in Aldi. Now I can't remember, and plenty of people would be the same, because Aldi and Lidl do their own brand German beers. One's Perlenbacher, one's Rheinbacher, and at the moment I can't remember which is which, but the Aldi one is excellent. The Lidl one, so I think Aldi's is Rheinbacher, thinking about it. Lidl do Perlenbacher, which is decent too. They're both two very, very good, cheap beers. With the cost of living, I'm noticing you can still get cheap beer but the quality is falling off except for in the German stuff that's cheap that's come with Aldi and Lidl. This however comes from Sainsbury's, it's Schneiderweiss, it's £2.20 a bottle. The Aldi and the Lidl stuff is still £1.25 so that's the best part of a pound cheaper so that's the benchmark they're both really good so for a pound more expensive from Sainsbury's you want this to be better and by better the flavour should be more pronounced vice beer tastes of well it certainly smells banana-y of banana and it tastes a bit like that you will get a bit of citrus and some spiciness in it, some clove. That doesn't sound very appetising if you've not tried it, but it's usually really nice stuff. This is a great example of a vice beer. It's kind of like an orange colour, almost like a toffee colour, and it's cloudy. Cloudy beer has been the in thing over the last couple of years. Well, apparently, Vice Beer's been doing it a lot longer than New England IPAs and things like that. And I say that as if I know, but I didn't try Vice Beer until maybe two years ago. But I have to be in the mood because it is kind of like an acquired taste. It smells lovely. That lovely banana that I was on about is sweet. But there's some spice there. There's almost like a dark orange zest as well. And if you're going to be really kind of like anal about it, you have a vice beer glass, which is like this tall glass. Normally in a pub, I'd be really annoyed if I get a tall vase like glass, but for vice beer, you need it. Anyway, you could have. That's good. The problem that I've got is the bottle is I've barely done two thirds of it there most of the flavour in a vice beer comes from the bottom you get sediment so the more I pour it in the stronger it's going to get there's definite as I mentioned banana there's the spiciness there's not as much clove as I was expecting but it's good peppery and for a vice beer, this has got a dryish finish. I don't find that they're that dry to finish normally. Yeah, so getting a little bit more there. It is, it's kind of like a nice bittery version of vice beer. This normally they're sweeter. Or the ones I try are sweeter. So we've got Schneider Weiss, and it is, as I mentioned, Sainsbury's £2.20 a bottle. 
handcrafted in Bavaria 150 which I'm presuming is years original voice beer 1872 yes yeah, so of 151 um, half litre bottle and for that you get a 5.4 percent beer now you probably won't see the pour but it almost looks earthy coming out which at the beginning of spring when the birds are starting to sing sorry didn't mean that and I'm looking across Cardiff out the bay of my van window this really hits a spot That's good vice beer, very good. And in comparison to the Aldi version, this is already tasting as strong as the Aldi version and I've yet to pour the bottom of the bo bottle in. It will, again, beef it up even more. Excellent, excellent beer. If you're in the mood, £2.20 bottle, get involved. Your good health.